no magic, no progress. Let's talk about this. I definitely got a cup, coffee and collagens. Let's have a discussion, shall we? So if y'all know, I have been doing this little thing where until Yule, which is this lovely Friday, maybe you're watching this on Friday. I don't know when I will schedule this one, but I am so excited to be able to do magic with tools again. And one of the reasons for this is because, final update to this lovely thing, is that I have let a lot of other things go as I've let my tools go. And I was not quite expecting that to happen. And I didn't realize how much magic and doing quick little spells and little, like, I don't know, little anointments, like small things with a tool was so ingrained with other really good habits of mine that I really loved and was really important to me. I would do little blessings on my food a lot and it would always remind me to eat healthier because I was thinking of the magical associations with the food. So I would eat a lot more spinach, asparagus and stuff, whereas like in the holidays right now, like I'm just eating all of the carbs, like it's not, like carbs are good for you, but you shouldn't be having so much deep fried goodness every single day. Mm. And I realized, cause I'm just kind of eating a little more mindlessly right now. And I'll, that tagged along with, oh, I'm not blessing my food nearly as much as I used to because blessings and all that, I consider food to be a, a bit of a tool in a sense, right? So I was telling myself, no, you can't do that. Another thing that I haven't been doing nearly as much is waking up all that early because so much of that early time for me was spent at my altar doing spell work or outside doing spell work or, you know, a lot of just, I still get up semi early or I'll do it more, I do it more late in the evenings now where I'll sit at my altar and like have a moment with my deities. But I've almost, I've gotten really, really bad about like being, getting up early and like I'm always waking up late. I always feel in a rush right now. And because I felt so much importance to giving my time for the craft and suddenly I don't have that anymore because I don't have to do so many spells or whatever. And so because I don't feel like I have to prep the tools or get stuff in order or there's like a candle, it's so much easier for me to just sleep in and go past it and I'm not waking up on time. And along with the not waking up on time means I'm not making my coffee in the morning so I have to drink crap work coffee. Like I did not realize how much the motivation for me to get up so early was because I loved dedicating my time to my practice during that time. And so because I haven't been doing that, that's the, the, the waking up early is totally gone out the window. I've also not gone outside nearly as much, which is weird because I've been pushing myself to feel into nature more. I'm taking way more notice of the moon cycles, what stage the moon is in. I go outside at least every night to check on it, but like my long walks that I used to do a lot of have kind of gone away. I, I just don't think about them because I'm like, oh, I don't have to do that. Because again, I would associate it with a bit of magic, with me tuning into the nature, with me feeling into the water of that little pond lake thing that I walk by. There's like a lot of things like that that I just don't do as much anymore. It's just very, very weird. I didn't realize how much I really had integrated magic and a magical mindset and certain traditions of this nature all in with my habits and all the good things that I really enjoyed and liked about what I was doing. Taking away the ability to do magic with tools, I did not realize too how much that, it just, I had interwoven it to so many pieces of my life. So part of me immediately wants to break it. Yule, I'm filming this on a Sunday. Yule is on a Friday. Like I get to do all the things after Yule on Yule. I'm so excited. It kind of really makes me appreciate magic and stuff too more. The fact that I'm realizing this because I always knew like ever since I started going into witchcraft and doing all this stuff, my life has drastically improved. My mindset is so much better. I am taking way more action in my life as a whole. And I really, really appreciate magic and witchcraft and all of that because of that, my life has tripled so much improved over stuff. And it really made me realize that, yeah, it is. It's a great motivator for me. It makes me wake up on time. It makes me consider the healthy foods I'm eating. It makes me get up and move and appreciate nature more. And it makes me focus on being in a healthy body and a mindset. And there's so much of that when I take away the tool part. It has really affected me. And in some respects, I'm like, okay, well, that's interesting. So if you don't have tools, then you're going to let go of all your good habits. That's not good, something to work on. But I do, it's kind of a reaffirmer of how much magic really has improved my life. And I didn't even quite realize it, that it, it, that integration really helped me push and do all the amazing good things I really wanted to do. Part of 
my long walks were great because I could find little pieces of nature and then bring them into my altar. Part of waking up early was because I wanted to have that time at my altar to draw cards, to honor my deities, to do a quick spell in the morning, you know, any of that stuff. It was so easy to do with a tool and because it was th that whole interaction excited me so I did the thing. I don't know, it just makes me feel so grateful for it because it's a very interesting experiment. I probably won't do a huge amount of minimalism, like I've said before, in my craft again because I just greatly, greatly enjoy it. It makes me so grateful because I can see now when you, and I take just the tools out, I've taken so much of the magic out. And at least for me, I've noticed that because I really love my candles and I love doing little spells here or there. And because it's become such an everyday part of my life now, the good habits have kind of gone, gone away with it. So it makes me so grateful because it was such an easy tool to adapt to doing a spell based off of waking up earlier and doing all these things. So one of the things I'm really excited to as Yule comes around is I'm going to do a couple of really nice spells to um, instigate some better habits in my life and get me back on to doing the things that make my life so much more fulfilling, I guess, for myself, right? Like, I really want to get back into waking up on time, more movement, more good healthy eatings, more time spent at my altar so I can, you know, just meditate with crystals again and focus on a little bit of spell work, focus on sigils in my runes now that I've been studying them a bunch. It's very, I'm really, really excited to get back into it. And it's, it's kind of fun to kind of purposefully make yourself not do the thing. Because by doing this, I have become so much more aware of where things really have helped me and where things have really pushed me to be better at life. Like I'm so much more aware of why the morning time at my altar, specifically doing a spell to kind of kickstart my morning, was something that I kind of felt was like, oh, I just do it because it's convenient. And I would continue to wake up early if I get to spend time in nature or whatever else. And I've realized, no, actually, it was such a huge motivator of how much I enjoyed it. And it really helps me, the magic and the tools help me structure out my life in a really productive, great way that I find really nice and enjoy enjoyment in, I guess. I don't know. Very rambly, very fun, but that is the conclusion of my little experiment with the no tools, is I've realized, you know what? I really enjoy my tools. They really help my life out, and I can't wait to start using them again. I have so many things that I am planning to do as the new year rounds up. Never gonna, I'm not gonna go as full ham as I did in October because I think that definitely exhausted a bit of, like one thing I really have to say about this, I feel very refreshed. I feel very like nothing is depleted, sleep, energy, magical energy, whatever, what have you. I definitely feel very much like, okay, we rested, we had a lot of fun. I am even made a little too much fun with the eating and the being lazy and that's great and all, but now it's time to kick it up to the new stuff. So I don't wanna go overboard with like, pushing myself too hard. I want to make sure I keep balance because 2018 definitely taught me how to give myself a minute. Like we don't want so much of this anymore. We want a little, like a little bit of a wave, but overall a nice consistent, e more even cycle of life. So I don't feel so, oh my God, everything. And oh my God, nothing all the time. Anyway, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.